Hello, hello, hello. Today is a good day. Welcome to Cooking with Camille McGowan. Today we're going to do something quick and hurry. We're going to do some sirloin chops, some fried potatoes and onions, and some mixed vegetables. You need one onion, your potatoes. I use Yukon potatoes. And I'm going to do four sirloin steaks and a bag of frozen vegetables. Let's get started. Okay, while we're waiting for the oil to get hot, I'm going to go ahead and cut the potatoes up in the onions. Okay, got the potatoes, Yukon potatoes cut up in cubes, and the onions. I got some grease back here going, waiting for it to get hot. I'm going to get a saucepan. Um, a saucepan and get some water in it to start um, doing the... Um, Boiling the water for the vegetables. Okay, and I'm going to put my Italian seasoning on my fried potatoes and onions. A little garlic salt. There's my garlic salt in right here. A little garlic salt. And I always put chives in there. Two chives. Chop that size. Oops, let me open that. It's not coming out fast enough. Oops, there it is. Right there. And some pepper. Okay. And we just stir that. And get some flour ready to fry my pork chops. Okay, we want to make sure I got the flour. Uh, make sure your chops are real good and wet to fry them. I'm only going to put two in at a time. And my flour, I use um, Italian seasoning, a little garlic salt, a little garlic powder, and some paprika and pepper, and uh, a little of my seasoning. That's it. I didn't want to put too much salt because I didn't want them to be salty. I don't season the meat. I just put it all in the flour. Okay. Now while that's frying, I'm going to clean up my mess. So you want to keep it stirred so the onions so they get grilled also besides the potatoes. And then I'm going to cover it up so put it towards the center where it cooks more and put the lid on there. And continue to fry everything else. Okay, so we turn the sirloin chops over. Look how nice and brown they look. Nice and brown. We got our vegetables on. We just bring that to a boil. We got a little butter, a little garlic salt, and some pepper in there. We're ready to go. Make sure you look golden brown on both sides like this. These are kind of thick, so... I let them cook for almost like 15 minutes on each side. I'm going to turn that one over. It's not quite ready. Got one more to do. Now I got the last chop one. I switched sides so the potatoes can be on the smaller side and chop the fry more. Look how pretty that is. Ain't that pretty? And our vegetables going. So we're almost done. And we can fix the plate. Okay, the finishing touch. Throw a line top, fried potatoes and onions, and mixed vegetables. Look at that, y'all. Nice, pretty color. Look like I'm just going to eat the potatoes and mixed vegetables because you know I don't do pork. Look at that. Nice and beautiful. Colorful. Beautiful. Please like and share. Um, I plan on doing a drawing. The week before Christmas so somebody can get a pound cake made for Christmas. That'll be the gift. And I don't know what I'm going to add to it. We'll see. So please share. If you share, you got a chance to win a pound cake for Christmas dinner. Either pound, lemon, or apple crown cake. Pick your choice. Or peach crown. Okay. Uh... They are expensive, so you're getting it free. 
gans, sirloin pork chops, mixed vegetables, smothered but fried potatoes and onions. Mmm, good. Please like and share. Love y'all. Have a blessed day. Oh yeah, I must to tell you the reason why I ain't been doing cooking shows because I was in Facebook jail. So now I'm out of jail. So I'm back to cooking again. Talk to you later.